Holly Mater this morning live at RIT where they design video games. All I have that enough trouble only but goody. playing them, let alone designing them. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You know how sometimes we talk about the three of us going outside of our comfort zones for some of our morning broadcasts? This is way outside of my comfort zone. All this stuff we're talking about this morning is over my head, and I will just admit it now. Um, imagine this, Christmas 2012, there's a hot new video game out there. Everybody's trying to get it on Black Friday. They sell out. Well, there's a good chance that that video game was created by somebody here at RIT because there is a major, it's called Game Design and Development, and some of the students with, that we're with this morning are working on designing their own video games and everything else that goes into it. Joe Petrick is actually one of those students. What are you working on now, Joe? Right now I'm playtesting a uh, pinball table that okay. I created in Future Pinball. You created this right here, this entire thing. Well, it, using a toolkit that somebody else has put together, but all of the art and the positioning of the elements uh, was something that I did on the screen. What do you hope to do with this degree when you're done with RIT? Um, make video games. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> sounds good. Uh, Jay Austin is another student. Jay, you're working on something different. What's this? Um, on the on the left, I have a, what is called a ray tracer, which is a program that mimics physics in order to draw 3D objects realistically. Mm -hmm. And then on the right, I've got a program that I'm working on that will eventually uh, simulate 3D terrain. But right now, as you can see, it's just flat land. Yeah. What do you say to the people at home who think, oh, with that degree, you probably just go into class and play video games all day. It must be really, really fun. It is really, really fun, but you actually spend most of your time programming and... Uh, you get to play games if you're lucky. Yeah, if you're lucky. <laughs> Stella Davis, you agree? I do agree. Um, there's a lot of work that goes into it, a lot more than most people think. And a lot of people just think that it's um, go and play games all day. Mm -hmm. But uh, like Jay said, most of the time is actually spent putting in a lot of work into the code. For instance, if you look at the code here for my ray tracer, there's lots and lots of text. And there's just more and more that comes out of it. Yeah, and I don't understand one word on that <laughs> screen, which is no surprise to me. Um, so coming up later on this morning, we're going to talk more to these students. We're also going to see some of the hot video games of today, talk about what an industry it is and how the jobs that these students get after school, even if they're not in the video game industry, um, will be very secure for them. They're, they're going to be doing just fine. They say a lot of the parents are a little apprehensive when they come <laughs> here to RIT and their students to, or, to, or kids decide to major in this, but it's actually a pretty good field yeah. to be in. I don't, I'm not that impressed impressed, Holly, quite frankly, because I'm on my laptop right now here on the anchor desk. Yeah. I am checking my email. Yes. I learned how to do that like last week. <laughs> <laughs> Just, hey, well, if you need help, this is your yeah, help Yeah, I know. This a lot of, lot of help there. Oh, that's cool. All right. Looking forward to seeing how they do it. Okay.